had the opportunity this afternoon to speak with a commanding general here, Matthew McFarlane, and Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers about a major recruiting campaign that's underway right now to uh, try and entice through major incentives young men and women who would like to pursue a military career. We also spoke about the long-standing relationship between the Mountain Post and Colorado Springs. For decades, Fort Carson has been its own community within our community, but what happens here impacts the overall economy of Colorado Springs today and for years to come. Colorado Springs, in fact, is the number one city nationwide when it comes to retaining military personnel after they retire. People feel comfortable here in the military. I can't tell you how many military folks come up to me uh, as mayor of Colorado Springs and said, I've never felt so comfortable. Uh, in a community as I feel in Colorado Springs. In today's fireside chat, which also included Commanding Sergeant Major Adam Nash, was to push a new recruiting campaign, Army National Hiring Days, which runs until June 14th, to draw from the local pool of men and women who are looking for a new career opportunity. There's a stability uh, involved here uh, that's simply not available in, in some of the economic sectors that are more uh, you know, su subject to the ups and downs of the economy. And the financial incentives to sign up, they are impressive. Depending on what path you choose, you can earn a bonus of up to $40,000 and $65,000 to pay off student loan debt. It was a very successful campaign a year ago, and I was told that there has been a very high retention rate, not surprising given the uncertainty of the pandemic and the stability that's built into a military career. And it was clear from General McFarland today that in this era of inclusion and diversity, everyone is welcome. The Army's focus on people first is just that, building from all these different diverse backgrounds. No matter what your zip code, no matter what your socioeconomic background is, we're interested in you coming to serve because we believe that diversity is a strength. I was also told that the Army provides what's called a career skills program, which you can take advantage of after just one tour. At its core, it's about using education and business within the Springs community to help develop skills for a lifetime. To train and build uh, skills that will enhance a soldier's ability to enter either their occupation or their, join their business or other businesses wherever the soldier wants to go when they're done. You had a great opportunity to talk with uh, Mayor Southers and General McFarland the first time I had the opportunity to meet him. And I also asked the general about have the standards changed in terms of recruiting? He said no, they have not changed. High school diploma or a GED. And again, very incentive laden program here to recruit young men and women until June 14th. And if for folks who are interested, they can just go to GoArmy.com.